Introducing Managing Your Catalog in the Back Office Portal, Part 2, Categories. First, let's navigate to the Catalog section of the Back Office Portal. Then, we want to go to the header that says Categories. Now, unlike Super Categories, which do not display on the point of sale, Categories very much do. Also, they display the way in which you see it here in the Back Office Portal. For example, we see Appetizers are first and Salads are second. It's going to display the same way on the point of sale. So let's say you wanted that to be different. Let's say I wanted my non-alcoholic beverages to be the first category. I can take my cursor, hover it over these three lines, and then drag it to the top. Now on my point of sale, beverages is the first category. You can see that some of these categories also have little arrows pointing to the right. This means that a category has subcategories underneath it. So when I tap on pizza, I have additional category options to select from. And then once I select one of those, I will then have the items displayed that are in that subcategory. You can create a subcategory by hovering your cursor over it, and there you can see there's a link option that says add subcategory. Also, you can see my categories have pictures. However, you can instead do colors if you would like. For example, when I click on appetizers, I scroll down here, I can select the font color as well as the background color for the categories. There's a few other useful settings as well. For example, here you can see I can select what super category this category is associated with, what tax class. I can also determine what printer assignments I want for this whole category. So if I want my appetizers to print to my kitchen printer, I can select that from here. Same with your kitchen display screen. And the last part about categories I'll mention is that you can also associate modifiers at the category level. So here on the right hand side, you can see there's a column that says associate modifiers. From here, I can click on the plus button and select what modifiers I would like. Now I'll go into details in the future about how to manage your modifiers and add them. But for now, here you can see that you can add them at the category level and that'll push down to all the items below. And that's categories in the back office portal.